Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Star Control Origins. So, I was heading to the Starbase, but it looks like someone wants to have a word about you the Exraki, no doubt. Door. We are familiar with that particular door. Okay, can you be a little bit less cryptic? You wanted to survive. Are you the same guys we met before? That is not an important question right now. Sure it is. What do you know about the Exraki? Little. They never concerned us. Not like humans do. But we know far more about the door you opened. The origin in scribe terms. A clever name. Truer than they understand. Okay. You should not have opened it. It leads to spaces above and below. Yeah, now you'll tell us. What is this above and below business? Even the terms above and below are too hard for you to grasp. You simply are not ready yet. In any event, this is an unexpected development. The origin was not the threat we were most concerned about for you. Amusing. So many threats. I'm glad you're entertained. So allow us to clarify this situation for you. To make sense of the many threats you face. The Scribe are not the real threat, nor are the Exraki. What lies beyond the origin is the real threat. Okay. Powerful entities lurk there, looking for beautiful beings such as you. Close the door, or this facet will be lost. We will see you again, hopefully. Well, all right then, that didn't really explain much. But thanks. Anyway, one more thing we need to do is go back and have a chat with the Overmind. Hello, so, back. how about we do that first? And then we can work on the Exraki. So, off you go. And we just need any Trandal system. Well, any system with actual ships, I suppose. See you there. So, let's see if there are any Overmind ships in here. You know, we still need some francium. Uh, nope. That's a traitor. Not overmind. Anyway, yeah, I still need francium. I might even finish the game without getting 100 francium, which would be kind of hilarious. I checked so many systems, so many planets, between the episodes. And nothing. Well, in any case, we got some overmind ships here. So, let's have a chat. Should be an interesting one. Although, there aren't really good conversationalists. Just saying. Hey, you there. Hello again. Yes, hello. We found a way to turn off your stupid upgrades. Okay. You don't seem too upset. I am not. You have provided me valuable information. Your husks are clever. Well then. I wonder. If you have an overmind of your own directing you... Let's not go too deep I have there. updated my calculations on optimal spread patterns for overmind. Well, good for you. Overmind will align its interests with you. This will leave you in the unupgraded state your husks seem to desire. Okay. We will work together to defeat the Scribe and turn them into overmind. Well, there we go. Now we are officially allies. I'm not a huge fan of the second part of that. <laughs> so long as a lot of them die, too. Fine with me. Good. All will be overmined eventually. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy, but... but... for now, you will not. Whatever we you say. are friends now. Don't look so sad. Well... I think we're done here, to be honest. Yes. Do you want a ship from them or something? Any technology you can share? The shape of your face suggests you still do not want overmind. Right. I will share lesser technology with you then. I have a hyperdrive. It is better than yours. Okay. I have a fleet deflector system. It will protect your husks. Hey, hold on though. We are literally using their hyperdrive. It will protect your planet side And husks. we also have lander Select armor. one. I need the rest. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure it's the same exact hyper drive we already have, but I do have Lander Armor Mark II. We could take the Fleet Deflector Mark III. That might come in handy. Okay, yes. let's get that. Protect your precious husks. So, any ships? Yes. I will give you a ship and some husks to fight the Xraki. Well then. You still want to talk, allied husks? No, I think we're done here. We'll be going. Okay, allied husk. So, that's our business with the Overmind concluded. Have we scanned these planets? Uh, yep, that one is scanned. I think these are all scanned. Yep. Alright then, so I guess we will go and take care of the Xraki now. We got at least two more fleets to fight. We got three more fleets to fight. Yeah, one of them is heading for the Pinty, one for Taiwom, and one for the Bokeh. So, well, see you when I intercept one of them, I suppose. So, here we are. I installed the fleet deflector instead of the cargo pod. We don't really need the cargo pod anyway. And here's the behemoth. No point hailing them, to be honest. Hunger crave. Yes, hi. Order information carriers arrive. Protect other ordered beings. Whatever you say. Echoes faint memories, sad. We had no protectors. Protect you from who? The scribe? The gluttonous eyes? From scribe. Gluttonous eyes do not protect. Feed consume us as well. If only you made Delightful. slightly more sense, that would be great. Time to die, Xraki. Is that why you're attacking everyone? Not attack chaos, pointless waste. Feed chaos, purposeful waste. Gluttonous yeah, okay. eyes hunger for this place, real. Feed on order information. Time to die, Xraki. Time to feed, Crave. Okay then, so... I could try one of the other ships. Thing is, I don't think I'll be able to get the crew back. But alright, sure, let's try the Syndicate Battlecruiser. We got a heavy Gatling laser and rear blast. Okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. Not bad at all. And rear blast. There's the rear blast. Yeah, that's not too bad. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to refill the crew. Unfortunately. I still prefer my main ship. And we're taking way too much damage. Yeah, this weapon doesn't do that much damage, to be honest. It looks good. And yeah, the battle cruiser is about to go down. I think it's best if we use our main ship. It's just so much better. So let's go with our main ship. The Mokei ship might also be pretty good with the ink. So we could give that a shot. And let's get rid of these guys. They are getting on my nerves. Okay. Down you go. Just trying to not lose too much crew here. Anyway, black hole. Here, that will do some damage. And that will do some damage as well. Another one down. Yeah, there are a lot of these small ships. They are a little bit annoying. Here, are they going down yet? We are actually doing pretty damn well. Look at our crow. We got almost full crow still. That is pretty good. Here, another one down. Okay, good. Two more. Let's maybe pick up the boss. Okay, looking good. Okay, screw that boss. Let's just finish this. We just need some more damage here. Here's acceleration boss. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, now this thing. I'm just going to kill it with the black hole. That seems to be the best option against this guy. 
and try to avoid his black hole, if we can. Yes, go straight through our black hole, that's great. Yeah, that was pretty good. Our crew is still fine, to be honest. Yep, that looks pretty good. Fire! He is going down slowly, but we are taking damage. Let's grab the crew. And here's another one. A few more passes. Here, that will do decent damage. Yeah, he's going down. One or two more well-placed shots with the black hole. So this one went better than the previous one. Here, he's down, nice. 10,000 are use. So, now we are going back to the starbase. So we saved the time Worm. Should we go and talk with him? Maybe later. Okay, so... We should probably go help the Pinty next. Yeah, that one is way closer. Okay then, I think I'll go this way. Because I don't really want to go through the Scribe territory. Well, in any case, see you when we get there. Alright, here we are. I went to get the crew. And it looks like this behemoth is really damn close to the Pinty. We can go have a chat with the Pinty once we get rid of him. Hunger crave. There's not much point repeating this entire conversation, to be honest. Oh, wait. That's new. You know, the Pinty. Pinty scum kill disrupt Exraki. When gluttonous eyes first feed crave Exraki, scribe lose fleet. Scribe weak, desperate. Pinty tool of scribe. Exraki die. So many die. Yeah, well, we won't miss them. Ordered emotion pointless. But we carry it. Alright, time to die, Xraki. Time to f So Oh, I don't actually have a Mokei ship in my fleet. Right. I can add it when I'm back on Earth again. We could try a different ship, but honestly, our main ship worked the best. So I'm going with that. Let's try to do as much damage as we can, because otherwise these small ships will just continue spawning. And they are pretty annoying. They will do quite a lot of damage if we let them. Fire. Okay, that's good. We can pick up the crew bonus. And kill a few of them at least. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. Not really. There. That's better. Yeah, I think Black Hole will take care of them way better, maybe. Maybe not. Here, I'll take that. Speed. And crow, nice one. Fire. Uh, that's a little bit off, I'm afraid. Here, we got one. I'll take it. Another black hole. That one is a little bit off. Let's try this again. Yep, that's better, way better. That might do some damage, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Here, that definitely will. Come on. That's a little bit off. Here, kill one. Let's go. Come on. We got work to do. There, that's a nice one. Here, only one more left, whatever that is. Come on, I'm right here. Nope, it changed direction. Okay then. Come on, we need to get a little bit closer. Uh, that might do it? Yes, okay, good. Now the main ship. Same as before, I'm just going with the black hole. If we get into a good position to use dumb fire missiles, then we'll use dumb fire missiles. But the black hole does way more damage. Especially when he stays inside. 
for a while. We can still take care of the small ships, don't get me wrong. Fire. And that's a little bit off. That's a good one. Yeah, that's going pretty well. He's losing a lot. There, that's a nice one. He's down to like one third now. You're going down, buddy. That weapon is just so good. Come on. He's almost down. One good hit and he will go down. That might do it. Yep, nice. 10,000. So, and we got 149 crew left. Let's have a chat with the pinsy, shall we? Uh, which system was it exactly? I don't think that's the one. Uh, maybe it is. I think this is the one. Yeah, a lot of ships in there. So, let's go and have a chat. See if there's any point actually having a chat with them. We did just save them, so... <laughs> I assume they will have something to say. Humans have stopped x menacing our world Yes, we did. Brave. Reckless. Humans are good friends. You're welcome. Happy to help. Anything else? Friends? Well, not just yet. Could you uh, check the code of this fake human? For what reason? Wait, what? Oh, that's about the meat puppet, except we already used the meat puppet. We're thinking of giving it to some space cannibals to eat. You wish to infect I mean, we already puppet. did, but let's see what you they have to say. to use Hindi as weapon. No, this is no longer our way. Okay, okay, it's fine. New allies are dangerous. Dangerous like Scribe. Okay, we'll be going. Right, so we got one more behemoth to take care of. To save them, okay. And then we'll be going for the system, whatever it was called. Yeah, this one. Beta Jutenim. Where's the fleet? Let's take a look at the map. It's over here, quite far away from the Mokei. And the Xraki are spreading. A lot. They are about to devour the famished. Well, sucks to be them, it's their own damn fault! So, see you when we get to their last behemoth. Alright, here we are. That's the last one. Hunger crave. Order it yeah, no point talking with him, to be honest. Not enough tentacles, grabbers. Friends, communications, laugh, chuckle, hugs. Communication leads to order information. Yeah, you obviously don't like that. Order, information. Time to die, x -Raki. So, let's do this. Same as before. We got some practice now. We can grab some boosts. Always helpful. Yep, more speed. That is definitely useful. Almost got that one. We are already, like, halfway done with this. Yeah, that went pretty quickly. Quicker than I thought it will. Come on. I'm right here. There, that might do it. Uh, nope. Still free. Come on. Can't use the black hole, what? There we go. Yeah, that didn't do a whole lot. Need to get a little bit closer to get a better shot at them. Here, I think that one will... Yes, two more. Yeah, I can't fire the black hole yet. Slightly annoying, but alright. 
not quite what I intended. Yeah, that will not hit. Actually, yeah, it will hit. Okay, good. Let's do this. Get over here. Come at me, bro. Here, we got the fancy black hole, too. You're not the only one. He's going down pretty quickly. That's not a very good shot. Actually, yeah, he will take some damage from that one. Okay, looking good. He's down to about two thirds. Okay, nice. That weapon is so good. Not only offensively, but defensively too. Since it blocks most, if not all, the projectile weapons. Come on. Down to half. Are we there yet? I wonder what else we'll have to fight. I guess we'll find out. Just need one good shot here. He is going down. There, that should do. He will fly straight through it. We got it, 10,000. Alright then. So, now we can go have a chat with the Muke, I suppose, and then go to Beta Jutenium. Let's check where that system actually is. Right here. It's quite far away. Are we actually in range to even get there to begin with? Because that's super far away. We can probably get there from here. Yeah, that seems like the only option, to be honest. Well, okay, first we need to go back to the starbase. Okay, so I will be heading to Beta Jutinim. We will probably have to fight something on the way. I fully expect that to happen. But I suppose we'll see about that. That guy behind us is already chasing us. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably have to fight someone. Most likely the scribe. Alright, we are almost there. I actually managed to avoid all of the scribe ships on the way. Although a few of them tried to catch me. Uh, here, we'll have to fight one guy. You know what? Let's have a chat with them. We'll see what they have to say. You, humans, the ones who unleash the attack. You have doomed us all. Well, we certainly doomed you. <laughs> so long as they doom you first. You don't know what you have done, humans. We attract you on every nightmare you have ever had. Billions of scribe have died at their hands. Billions more soon will. I'm okay with that. They said you opened some kind of door on their world. That is but a fraction of the story. I wonder if they can truly recall the rest. Yes, long ago the Atraki were wards of ours. They were simple creatures, you know the type. There was an artifact on their world. A device left behind by the precursors. An origin, we called it. We had seen similar things in many places. We established a facility there to study this one. There were certain risks, of course. Hazards in testing which could not be avoided. We used the Atraki for those tests. Yeah. Eventually, the origin opened. Beyond the chaos. Alright then. The gluttonous eyes the Xraki told us about. We did not give it a name. But the description fits. There are realms above and below this one. An infinite number of parallel universes. Some are almost identical to this one. Most, though, are filled with things unknowable to our minds. Things that are hungry. Okay, then. We awakened those beings. 
or draw their attention to our reality. And when they arrived, they did something to the extractee. Yeah, we noticed that part. That whatever lies beyond cannot enter our dimension directly. So, they corrupted the Extraki to prepare this universe for their arrival. Where before they had been simple, thoughtful creatures, the Extraki were transformed into mindless, slavering beasts. We are not entirely sure how the corruption spread. But soon, Exaraki everywhere in the Empire began to change. Many of those Exaraki were stationed on our ships. Within a year, we had lost nearly half of our fleet to the demons. And so on, they turned to war. Billions of souls were lost. Scribe and ward species alike. Oh, poor you. How did you stop them? At great cost. We pushed them back to their world. To the origin where this evil spilled from. And we closed it. We vowed never to open such a door again. And to prevent any of our simple-minded wards from doing the same. Peace reigned. For thousands of years, order persevered. Though, we always knew it would not last. When we stopped our research into the origins, we left behind devices. Alarms, if you will. Okay. Alarms which began going off a few decades ago. We see it clearly now. The Xraki sits forerunners lurking in the shadows, preparing to open the origin again. They have had thousands of years to prepare. For longer, who knows how time works for those beings? We are doomed. We'll see about that. We can stop the Xraki if we work together. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they will be interested in that. Yes. Excellent. Kiss and arch your back, humans. You have survived on the interstellar stage for entire months now. Well done. Yes, we're awesome like that. You have no idea what you have unleashed. You may consider it a mercy to die by our hands. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Okay, well, we'll have to fight them. Well then, let's enter the system. I got 123 crew. This is the system Hopefully that's going to be enough. About, Captain. There's a scribe weapons facility somewhere here, and a whole lot of ships guarding it. Yeah, that's a lot of ships. I hope I can handle all of them. Oh, shut up. This is the heart of the Scribe Empire. You define it with your mere presence. No, yo. There are a lot of ways we could defile this place. <laughs> We've come to stop you from slaughtering the Exraki. We've come to slaughter the Exraki. Yes, indeed. How do you know? So you know about the tools we are developing here? Yes, we do, actually. You mean weapons? Perhaps. I suppose a boot is a weapon to the bug it steps on. We call them tools, though. Extermination tools. You know, that doesn't matter. sound any better, right? Not that it matters. Because you will get nowhere. Oh, yes, we will. It is our job to end the attack. Their existence is our mistake to correct. You can't play God like that. You already messed up killing them once. And you think you could do a better job? We've been doing a pretty damn Maybe good job so far. Many strange events have occurred in the Empire of late. Ships gone missing. Entire fleets even. Ward after ward species rising against us. 
the Draken. Your elf servants by design have all begun to disappear from their posts. They once had vessels posted here alongside us. No more. I think he's getting the message. This was your doing, wasn't it? Do not answer that. I could not bear to hear another of your lies. We will pick the truth from the bones of your ship's hull. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, maybe we should use some of these other ships. Okay, let's use them. They will probably get destroyed, but at least they will do some damage first. Especially this guy with the cloak. The cloak is pretty nice. But this guy's weapon does quite a bit of damage. Especially at close range. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Could have been worse. We might be able to take out this guy. Here, we got him. Okay. Well, we'll have to destroy everything in this system. Let's do it. What's this? Okay. Any point talking with them anymore? Good talk. Okay. I'm just going to use the cruiser until he gets destroyed. Here, well, that was quick. <laughs> the measured response. Oh, alright. We never actually met the measured. Alarm. Sub-intelligent species is invading. No, we're honestly not. Yeah, I guess we are. Commence phase one of self-defense protocol. Wasting sub-intelligent species. Well, alright then. So, let's try one of these other ships. I have no idea what they do. Oh, this one is not very good, is it? Okay. Uh, no, not really, it's not. What the heck does he even do? Canister mine and reinforcements. Yeah, okay. So, a mine. Yeah, that's not so easy to use. This guy is really weird. Yeah, he's also not super useful, to be honest. Okay, I suppose we'll use something else. Let's just use the cruiser, it's fine. Just need a good volley. Not quite like that, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's pretty good. 1200. Next, the big guy. Okay. Fire at well. Well, actually, let's see what he has to say. Nothing new, apparently. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, let's go with the cruiser. Not quite what I was going for, but we can grab the boost. Okay, try to get out of that field. That costed us a lot of crew. But he did his job. That was a lot of damage. Maybe we can take him out. We need one good volley. Here, we actually took him out. So, is that everything? Looks like that's everything. Oh, more incoming. Yeah, I suppose I'm not exactly surprised. Just fire at well. I'm going to use my main ship this time. And I suppose we need to hurry up with all these planets. Before they send even more reinforcements. Are you going down? Here. Okay, let's hurry up with this, shall we? So, nothing here. Maybe we'll find some Francium. <laughs> You know, I actually expect to just finish this entire game without finding 100 francium. Oh, this guy looks dangerous. Okay. Well, nothing here. I guess we have to fight him. Sure, fine, let's fight him. Our main ship or something else? Let's use the Mokei ship. We can drop some ink in front of him. That does quite a lot of damage, actually. Maybe not as much as the black hole, but it's pretty nice. As long as we can make this guy enter it. Which is easier said than done sometimes. Uh, that might do it, maybe. Uh, no, not really. But he will fly straight through it. Nice. Yeah, okay, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it will. 
But this ship was free, so honestly it doesn't make a big difference whether we lose it or not. I'm just going to drop the ink everywhere. Yeah, that seems like the best strategy with this guy. And he will fly through it eventually. Come on, we are right here. I don't think it will ever go away. Yeah, looks like it will just stay up permanently. That's not too bad. But we are a little bit low on crew at this point. Yep, he will fly straight through the ink cloud. That's not too bad. Seeing how you get that ship basically at the start of the game. A little bit tricky to use. But it can turn pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah, he's losing more crew. This will be pretty nice against the Extraki ships. Okay, move out of the way. And drop some ink. Get over here. Oh, yep, we lost him. Yeah, that's fine. We did, like, almost 50% damage to this guy. Let's use our main ship at this point, I think. What about this guy? What does he do? Scout laser. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be super useful. But, alright. Yep, he will go down basically instantly. Fine, our main ship. Let's try to not lose too much crew, because we likely have to fight more on our way out. We will most definitely have to fight more on our way out. Although, I could always, like, run out of fuel on purpose and get the Taiwan to rescue us, instead of going all the way back into our territory. Let's maybe kill the Juggernaut first, and then we'll worry about how to get out of here. I wanted that power-up, but didn't quite get it. I like how the planet blocked that weapon. Okay, he has less than half health at this point. And that didn't do much. I don't want to go too close. Yeah, because of that weapon. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Not as good as it could have been. We did a little bit of damage there, I think. I don't want to lose too much cross, so I'm not going in too aggressively. Yep, that did nice damage. We are still good on crew. Yep, nice one. Three or four more passes like that. And we'll get him. I think that might hit. Well, the dumb fire missile certainly did. Come on. One or two more like that. There, that did some damage. Nice one. I think that one will as well. Got him. Nice. So, let's finish this before more ships arrive. They can't be too far away from here. So, nothing. I'm not going to land until we have more incoming. Anyway, yeah, I'm not landing until I find what we're looking for. Let's just use our main ship. I have a feeling this is going to be really close. As in, not this fight in particular, but this system in general. Okay, hurry up. It's going to be the last planet. Probably. There's oh, the yeah, there's something here. Captain. Looks like a lot of defenses down there. This could be a rough one. Oh, I don't have a laser on me. I hope we are not going to need it. Because I don't have the laser equipped. That's going to be a problem. Well, hopefully we just need to get to the facility, not destroy everything on the planet. I literally can't destroy everything without going back to the starbase. I have a bad feeling about this. Captain, it's going to be too dangerous entering this place until all these defenses are Well, done. so that was all for nothing. However, that will have to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.